Have you heard of Windows XP mode? For those of you who don't know, it's essentially the best software compatibility insurance out there and makes the upgrade from Windows XP to Windows 7 as smooth as possible. Windows XP mode runs a full copy of Microsoft's older operating system in the background so that users can install and run applications that are not compatible with the latest Windows operating system. And there's a good reason for that. While about 80 to 90 percent of your applications work well with Windows 7, there are still a handful of outdated or abandoned programs that only run under Windows XP. Additionally, there are some performance issues and problems users might run into when using Windows XP mode. So I'm here today with Danielle to discuss how to set up what's also come to be known as virtual Windows and how to increase its performance. Thanks for joining us, Danielle. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. It's our pleasure. Before we dive into the specifics of fine-tuning Windows XP mode, why do you think PC users should know about it? Well, Windows XP mode is especially important for companies that are upgrading to Windows 7. In some cases, an organization's line of business applications only works with Windows XP. The same problem affects end users whose favorite programs might be unique to Microsoft's older operating system and doesn't work with the company's latest one. That makes sense. So what do PC users need to do before they can run virtual Windows on their machines? Well, to run older applications under Windows XP mode, you'll first need Windows 7 Professional, Enterprise, or Ultimate. This feature is only available in the higher editions of Windows. However, it doesn't matter if you're running it on a 32-bit or 64-bit system. I would also suggest using at least a Core 2 Duo 2 GHZ processor and having two or more gigabytes of main memory and 20 gigabytes of free hard disk space for Windows XP mode. Simulating Windows XP takes up a lot of resources because you're basically running two operating systems at the same time, Windows 7 and then the virtualized XP. Thanks. Any other advice for getting started? Yes. I should also mention that it's best to go with a processor that has the hardware virtualization feature. This allows Windows XP mode to run nearly as fast as the true operating system. It'll run without this feature, but you'll likely notice slower performance when working with older programs. You can find out if your PC already supports this feature by downloading the Microsoft Hardware Assisted Virtualization Detection Tool. This can be found at www.microsoft.com downloads. Great, I will certainly do that. Should we dive into how to set up Windows XP mode and improve its performance? That sounds good to me. In its default setting, Windows XP mode is not tuned for optimum performance, and not all the important features are necessarily enabled. There are many resource draining elements because these are needed for the real operating system, but not for the virtualized one. Thanks for the background information. What are some steps PC users can take to maximize Windows XP mode's performance and functionality? First, you should share an internet connection. Running your older Windows XP application might require a working internet connection, so you should launch Internet Explorer to see if Windows XP mode is connected. If the browser's default website does not appear, click on the Tools menu in the Windows XP mode window and then on the Settings entry. Go to the Networking category and select your network adapter rather than the default setting. That sounds easy enough. What should you do once you're connected to the internet? Next, you should use Windows Update to install the latest software settings. You can do this by clicking on Start, going to All Programs, and selecting Windows Update. Install all of these prerequisite updates, and once you're finished, select all of the high-priority updates using the Custom view. Finally, go to the Optional Software category and install the updates that are necessary for Windows XP mode. It's always helpful to have the latest updates installed on your PC. Exactly. It's also a good idea to disable the default Windows XP sounds. If you don't need them, they might distract or even annoy you. To do this, just go to the control panel and click on Sounds, Speech, and Audio Devices. Make sure your sound scheme says no sounds. Great! Are there any ways that TuneUp Utilities can help increase the performance of Windows XP mode? Yeah, actually. TuneUp's Turbo Mode feature is perfectly suited for a virtual environment. With one click, it disables many additional Windows XP features that aren't necessary and only consume memory as well as processor resources such as automatic defragmentation, maintenance tasks, and synchronization features. Perfect. Are there any other tips that you would like to share with us today? Yes, the most important one of all, which is how to install all of your old programs. To do that, you can insert the CD or DVD of your Windows XP program, go to My Computer, and install it like normal. If it's a program that you downloaded, you'll need to access the hard disk drive on your real computer. To do this, go to My Computer and look at the other category. Your physical drives are easily accessible for sharing files between your real PC and virtual Windows. 
And how do you run these older programs? Do you actually need to launch Windows XP mode every single time you want to work with a program? Luckily, no. Once you've installed all of the legacy applications, log off from Windows XP mode and hit the X to close the virtual machine. All of the programs you installed will be available in your Windows 7 start menu. Okay, and what happens when you launch one of these Windows XP mode applications in the future? Virtual windows will run in the background, but the actual program window will appear as a regular program window under Windows 7. Great! It sounds like these Windows XP mode tweaks will help squeeze as much performance and functionality as possible out of a virtualized machine. Yep, they definitely will. Well, Danielle, thanks so much for taking the time to explain these Windows XP mode tips to us today. It was my pleasure, and make sure to visit the TuneUp blog about Windows at blog.tune-up.com for more tips and tricks on Windows XP mode. You'll also find additional information that will help to keep your PC in top shape. Great, I will do that. Thanks again, Danielle. We appreciate your time. Sure, I look forward to speaking again soon.